How to use trails in Roblox Studio. First, create two parts. Next, insert attachments into both of them and name them. Insert a trail, then scroll down the properties and find attachment 0 and attachment 1. Attachment 0 is the first attachment, and attachment 1 is the second. Now we have a trail. I'm just going to insert this into a model I created. A link for the assets used here will be in the comments section. Go into the model, then repeat the process with two parts of the model. You can change the trail's color to anything you like. Clicking on the three dots in the color property brings up the gradient panel, which allows you to change the trail's color over time. Face camera makes the trail constantly align with the camera's view. Light emission changes how much the trail blends with other colors behind it. Light influence determines how much the trail is affected by the environment's light. Setting this value below 1 will reveal brightness, which changes the trail's glow. The texture property changes the trail's appearance. I'll get the texture from this part by copying the decal's texture ID and pasting it into the trail's texture property. I'll explain texture length in a bit. The default texture mode is stretch, as the name says, stretches the texture. Static stops the texture from moving and repeats copies of the texture. Wrap is similar to stretch but makes copies of the image instead of stretching it. Texture length is different depending on the texture mode, so I'll try to simplify it. Increasing texture length and stretch will make it stretch less, while increasing texture length using static or wrap will stretch it more, and vice versa. Transparency determines how see-through the trail is. Like the colors, we can change the value over time. Let's skip the attachments since we know what those do. Enabled switches the trail on or off. Lifetime is how long the trail lasts. Max length sets a maximum length regardless of the lifetime, setting this to zero removes the limit. Minimum length is the length needed before making the next segment of the trail. Width scale is how big the trail is based on the two attachments, basically how much it fills the gap between them. It can also be changed over time. So that.